Welcome to the Hippo CMMS mobile app training. Here's the agenda. Training time should take approximately 15 minutes. My name is Mel Motosh and I'm the instructional design and developer here at Hippo. For the mobile app training, we'll get into navigation, work orders, the resource timer feature, scan or barcodes, asset information, and notifications. If you ever have any questions, email our support team, support at hippocmms.com. So let's begin. Go to the App Store and download the Hippo CMMS app. Click on the icon and log into the system. Click in the client field to enter your client ID. This is typically the name of your organization or an acronym. Click in the user ID field and enter your username. Next, enter your password. You can then click the secure login button. Some might have an additional button at the bottom of the screen if your organization uses an SSO provider. After your work orders have loaded, let's start with navigation. There are three main portions to the Hippo app. Along the top, we have the Actions button. For example, click on the Search icon to search for information, or you can click on the Add button to create a new demand work order. The middle of the screen is the Display and along the bottom, we have the menu icons. By default, you will automatically arrive at the work order screen and see all tickets that are overdue. Slide the display to the left to view other tickets, such as due today or tickets of any status. Scroll up or down to view additional work orders. When you click on the search function for the work orders, this allows you to search work orders based on ticket names or even ID numbers. You can scroll through your results in the display portion. You can also filter through facilities, priority levels, or use any of the other features or filters when I scroll to the left. Hit cancel to go back to the main work order screen. Click on the name of the work order to open up any ticket. Notice that it automatically arrives at the action portion of the work orders. Here you'll find the main details to your tickets. Click on the drop downs to change information. For example, click in the on hold circle to change the status of this work order. You can view comments or resource information. Click on the general info tab to view additional ticket information. Any asset or location link or name in blue Will take you directly to its detail screen. Scroll up and down to see additional information. There's also contacts or log info that includes dates. If you are changing any information about the work order, hit the save button in the top right corner. Click on the asset icon in the menu bar to get to all your detail screens. By default, you'll view the equipment. Again, you can scroll up or down or click on the see all button. I can also swipe left to get to my location detail screens or vehicle information. When on the asset screen, 
you can click on the search icon to filter through and even view equipment that is reported up or down. Click on the name of the asset to view details. Use the drop downs to view more information. Click on the image name and it will open up a new window on your mobile device. You'll also see any open or current work orders associated to that asset. If there are no current work orders, don't forget you can click on the plus button located in the top right corner. This allows you to create a demand work order at any time. Anything with the asterisk next to it is a mandatory field, similar to the desktop. The work order name is typically what the job is about. Repair, replace. Scroll down to add additional information. Click on the plus button to add more details. Such as estimated effort, due dates, or associate a resource. When I click on the Add Resource button, it allows me to select one or multiple resources to any work order. You can also add an additional email in the Send Updates field. You can then determine if you want to send an email notification when the work order is created and any status changes to this particular ticket. Don't forget to hit submit in the top right corner of the screen. We have now created a new demand work order. You can also click the scan icon to pull up any asset information. Cover your phone over the asset ID or barcode. It will allow you to associate a new scan code to a particular asset or pull up an existing barcode associated to an asset. The menu bar also has a facility icon. Click on the icon to get an overview of open work orders per facility. You can view demands, PMs, overdue, or any work order that's critical. To complete a work order, click on the ticket name, then select the completed status from the drop down menu. Resources associated will likewise have to add their information. When I swipe left, I can click the edit button to add time. You can use the built-in timer to record when you start a ticket and stop when you are done. Or you can manually enter by clicking in the hours field. This is in decimal format. 0.25 would mean 15 minutes. Click done when you are finished. If you want to add parts, swipe left and enter how many parts use. Notice you'll also see quantity on hand. Click done when you are finished. There are several optional fields of information that you may want to add before you complete or close your work order. For example, 
You might want to attach an image or document to this ticket. Click on the Add Attachment button and select where your file is located from your mobile device. Once you have completed all the details in your work order, don't forget to hit Save. If there is any information missing, you will receive a notification. Finally, notice the More icon in the menu bar. Locate any information that needs to be reviewed here. For example, even if you are not connected to the internet, you can add asset information or complete work orders. Once your mobile device is back online, you can confirm changes here. Once changes are saved, the notice will automatically be removed. Click on the dots in the top right corner to log out or refresh the app. for watching the Hippo CMMS mobile app training.